Hey, what's going on guys? Notorious Rhino here, back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 video. I am excited today to rebuild the Edgewood Wildcat. This thing looks beastly. Um, I already went ahead and put the exterior body parts on it. I haven't touched the undercarriage, the wheels, or the chassis, or anything like that, so we still got some work to do. I just wanted to remind you to please subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much, and let's get right into it. I know these wheels have seen better days. Hopefully we can even repair them. I, I didn't actually pay attention to what the other one... Yeah, I didn't, didn't see anything up here, so I'm going to assume that it was scrapped. I can't remember exactly where I got this from, whether it was the junkyard or the barn. Definitely wasn't an auction, but that, that has me worried because... Yeah. Um, no. Well, that's with both parts together, so that's not the wheels separate from the, the rims, or the wheels separate from the tires. So that might not be good when we take it apart. We will see. Yeah, this had to have been a junkyard find because this thing is looking pretty rough. I'm not going to lie to you about it. It, it has seen better days, that's for sure. So I'm still in the process of taking this apart. I haven't made it very far. Oh no. My good old arch nemesis. Leaf spring bolts. Hopefully I won't forget those this time though. Uh, let's see. Take the leaf spring plate off. And can't forget the bushings. Pop that bad boy off. And we'll... I uh, probably need to just go ahead and... By now I should remember exactly what, what cannot be repaired. So... Uh, I need to definitely do that on this one. This one's going to be pretty rough. I don't think a lot of this stuff's honestly going to be able to be repaired, unfortunately. So again with this build, we're going to use all performance parts possible. Uh, again, I don't really have a lot of scrap parts. I only have 309 since the last episode, which I'm kind of recording this quite a bit ahead of time. So, um, you know, I have to go out of town this coming up weekend. So... I actually need to go ahead and make another video so I, I won't have time if anybody does decide to comment I won't have time to look at it um, so I'm just gonna kind of I'm gonna kind of roll with this one and uh, you know just just get a just get a build done for you all and see what we can do with it um, but I am gonna be using all performance parts so you know that'll be pretty cool because I'm not entirely sure I haven't really worked a lot with the Wildcat, so I don't remember if it has... I don't actually remember what the horsepower even is in this thing. I need to actually take a look at that. Because now I'm curious. Uh, 248. Hmm. Well, it might not be, like, amazing, but... Did it have swap options? I actually didn't even look at that either. Mm, it does not have swap options. Well then, um, this might be more for a decorative piece, uh, rather, or a, you know, a piece to sell and you know, rebuild and have fun with. Because I don't think it's going to be too quick. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, by now you all have seen the episode with the r crazy, ridiculous horsepower in a. Uh, whatever that vehicle was called. I can't even remember now. I just called it the Chrome Boy behind the scenes. <laughs> the The good old Chrome Boy was fast, like really fast. Um, it blew my mind, honestly, because I was expecting, you know, to get an extra 200, 300 horsepower, and yeah, we ended up, what was it, getting 1122, I think, which is insane, like completely insane. So... Don't think we're going to get there with this, but, uh, you know, we did gain about, what was it? Yeah, I think we actually gained 500, or a little under 500 horsepower out of the uh, Chrome Boy, whatever it was called. I'm, I can't remember. For some reason, I can't cannot remember the name of that vehicle. Um, anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So, we might be able to, you know, get an extra three, four, five hundred just with performance parts, not using upgrades so you know that'd be, that'd be pretty cool if we could do that uh you know one thing i forgot to do was mark the good old inner tie rods and outer tie rods with 
being purchased, but I will not forget the sway bar. We're already making good progress on this thing. Um, I haven't really been working on it that long, and we're, we're doing pretty good because it doesn't actually take as much as I thought to do this wildcat, which is always good. Um, means quicker time to see how much power we can get and how fast we can get this thing, which it's not going to be like the last video, <laughs> but, you know, it's still, it's still fun nonetheless. Yeah, we already have pretty much the whole chassis and everything put together, so we will come back while we're doing the engine. All right, so we're starting the engine. Oh, and we have the whole engine to do. Let me go ahead and start throwing this stuff together, and that's not going to work. We definitely need <laughs> definitely need a new crankshaft. I would hate to drive it with a 10% quality. Let's see. Crankshaft. Bam. All right, please tell me I have some of this other stuff. Oh, yeah, I do. Look at that. Beautiful. Of course, I didn't buy any of my performance parts over here, though. I need a flywheel. And... Uh, there we go. Do I have an alternator and everything? Uh, I'm just gonna go, I'll go ahead and buy an extra. Uh, I think I bought the wrong one. Oh well. One of these days, I'm sure I'll use it. Uh, I need a clutch pressure plate. Clutch plate. Uh, let's see. I can't wait for the updates and everything for this game. All the new vehicles they release and. All the DLC, I'm so excited for all that, you guys. Like I, I tell you, I this game has pulled me in. It has sucked the life out of me in a good way, because it's I'm hooked, honestly. Uh, let's see. So I need a piston with Conrad. This is a V8, yeah. And then I need the rings. I wish they had performance rings. You guys ever wondered why these things are so expensive? 40 credits a piece, and you need eight of these, so you need to buy the, the piston with Conrad, the rings, and the rod caps, which are 40 credits. Luckily, I have a 15% discount, <laughs> so that helps. And I usually don't have to buy these too much. I guess this vehicle I bought was horrifyingly terrible and uh, could not be repaired because I had none in stock, so I guess I couldn't repair any of them, which is very unfortunate, but it is what it is. My worst enemy. Valve push rods. Um, the leaf spring plate, leaf spring bolts, I think is what you call them, and the rocker arms. Just the worst. Alright. Get these put in here, and then after this, I have the whole underside complete. I think. <laughs> Might have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that I have the whole underside of the car complete. So I'm kind of excited to, I'm, I'm excited for this one too, but I think I have an idea for the next episode, the next video, that might change things up a little bit. I'm not going to do it the, every time. Um, it's kind of a, we'll just say it might be a one or two episode every once in a while type of deal, and I think, I think you're going to like it, so you want to stay tuned for the next episode, because it's, we're going to, I'm going to, let's just say I'm going to go more in depth with certain things because certain things in this game are very difficult to acquire <laughs> so i'm gonna go a certain route to uh i think i think this is in the tune parts if i'm not mistaken certain things are hard to acquire we'll put it that way so i'm gonna i'm gonna figure out a way around certain things for the purposes of to make a good video and then you know obviously i'm gonna keep doing this regular car mechanic 2021 series and everything but i'm gonna try something we'll just put it that way all right, let's get this carburetor and round air filter on, which I know is also in the tune shop. All right, guys, we are finally done with this thing, uh, except for testing it, of course. So, I think the factory horsepower, we're going to look at it again in just a second, but I think the factory horsepower is like 248 horsepower. 
So I'm really curious to check Dino out real fast and see exactly what we're working with. So I present you uh, black and yellow for the um, for the Edgewood Wildcat. That is what it's called. <laughs> I forgot for a second. Um, the profit is looking pretty good. Again, I'm with all the performance parts in this thing, I spent quite a bit of money, but I'm still making some sort of profit for sure. I only bought it for 5000 so uh, it was definitely a junker of a find, but yep, 248 horsepower is the factory power. Uh, unfortunately, there was no you know engine swap available for it, so we just uh, performance parted this thing out completely. Uh, got slicks on, of course. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I'm not usually a fan of yellow. Uh, black and yellow, you know, a little bit of black mixed in with the yellow is not too bad usually, but not usually a fan of yellow, but this it's looking pretty good. I, I like it. So let's check out Dino and see where we get with this uh, new horsepower. All right, so not not exactly what I was expecting. I was expect, expecting a, maybe 100 or so more horsepower, but... 200 extra horsepower is pretty pretty daggone good, so um, we will take that as a win, I suppose. Um, let's see. All right, I'm going to mess around with this stuff um, like usual, and we're going to get it out on the speed track and possibly the racetrack, and we'll, we'll see how it works. All right, guys, moment of truth. Um, let's see how fast this thing can go. You know, it's not, definitely not going to be like the uh, the good old Chrome Boy we had uh, last episode, but it should have some some uh, kick behind it. So let's give it a shot. All right. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. Oh, I'm trying to keep it straight. Okay. Okay. We're in fourth. We, I don't think we have too much more room to go. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, oh, oh, I'm rolling. So, 222. Okay. So, for the amount of horsepower, I mean, it's a lot of horsepower. I mean, it is a video game, so I'm not entirely sure how accurate everything is and, you know, the gear ratio setups and all that, how how all that plays out into it, but so it seems like it seems like we're still doing pretty good though with this thing. I'm I'm happy how it turned out. Um definitely for a for a real life build and real life miles per hour, um that would be, you know, pretty insane, but uh yeah, for this game, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm glad I'm glad we built this thing. Let's go ahead and take her back to the garage. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. I do want to remind you uh, again to tune in to next episode because we're gonna do things a little bit differently than we have been doing it. Um, I'm not I'm gonna keep this series going. It's just we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently with the Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 series. Um, we're gonna do a separate little thing. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Notorious Rhino, and I'll see you next time.